Dean Hood. Uh, what are your general thoughts on the upcoming season? Uh, you know, just grateful, you know, grateful and, and challenging. You know, it's uh, grateful that we had, you know, we actually had spring ball, you know, had winter conditioning, we had spring ball, then we had, you know, summer training and getting ready to go into a season. So just grateful that we're having, you know, normal. Our kids are excited about normal, you know, so, uh, you know, able to have speakers come to campus in person, able to have cookouts and be around our guys, you know, so just really, really grateful and then, you know, just understand how challenging it's going to be, you know, with, uh, you know, we start with three FBS opponents and then the OVC being as strong as it always is, the parity that's always there, uh, you know, plus the addition of Lindenwood, uh, it's just, uh, you know, very, very, and then the Southland Conference, uh, you know, uh, association and, and playing a, a Southland Conference, you know, team and, and uh, so just really, really challenging for our guys, so, you know, excited. Excited for that, and uh, you know, like I said, just grateful that we're we're having some normalcy. And uh, what do you like most about your team this year? You know, our seniors. You know, they both talked about it. You know, Levi and, and Quinaz both talked about. Uh, you know, all the new guys coming in. You know, we had had 16 seniors a year ago. We lost 11 guys to the portal. We lost eight guys to to you know not wanting to play football anymore. You know, so you're talking about 35 new faces. So what I really like is our guys trying to, you know, uh, get get everybody else on board. You know, just really welcoming with, you know, with all these new guys and and uh, trying to, you know, create a brotherhood with them that they already have. You know, with everybody else on the team. You know, just been really, uh, you know, really proud of our really proud of our seniors taking that leadership role and and bringing new guys into the family. And uh, what's the biggest challenge for your team this year? Uh, for the team or for a coach, as a coach? Well, for your team is what I'm asking. Okay. However you want to answer that. Well, I, you know, for, for as a coach, you know, just looking at it, you know, the challenge is always the same. It's, you know, you get so drawn into the, to the scoreboard, you know, and you got to constantly, and I talk to the assistants about, about it all the time, is, man, we got to draw back to the team picture, you know, because you can get so caught up in that, in that scoreboard that you're not, you know, you lose sight of, you know, what you're really doing it for. You know, we, we want to win a championship. You know, you heard that when, when the kids talk. They want to win. They want to win every ball game. You know, and so do we as coaches. Uh, but, you know, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, they're, they're not going to, you know, Quinaz is not going to call me and say, hey, coach, thanks for teaching me how to backpedal. You know, uh, it's, it's those life lessons that football can help you with and help you down the road to be a good husband, a good dad, a good neighbor, a good leader in your community. So the challenge for a coach, I think, is the same every year, is, is to keep, keep looking at that team picture and realizing, you know, what, you, what you're really in it for and, and don't get, you know, drawn to that, to that scoreboard. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's for a coach, I think that's what it is. And uh, what are your general impressions of the OVC this year? I think it's the same. You know, there, there's always parity in the OVC. You never know who's going to win the Ohio Valley Conference. I mean, you know, everybody picks these, these guys first, second. You know, you, you never know who's going to jump up there and have a, have a great year, you know. And so I think that's, <laughs> that's what makes it good. That's what makes it interesting. Uh, that's what makes it a good conference because there is a lot of parity and it's, it's going to come down to the, you know, pretty much the final drive almost every game that, that you play. And, and uh, so I think that's it. Uh, and tell us about your schedule. Uh, yeah, alluded to it a little bit in a previous question. It's it's three FBS teams. Uh, then we get into get into conference play, and uh, you know we got a Southland Conference school thrown in there in Southeast Louisiana. Uh, we've got Robert Morris. Uh, you know in November. Uh, you know you got the addition of Lindenwood. You know so that'll be a new uh, a new conference you know school for us. That's uh, that looks really good. You know, it looks like it's a really good addition for the OVC. So, uh, you know, like I said at the top, it's going to be it's going to be a challenging year.